recording. <laughs> nice of you to say that as I swing. Recording? Yeah. Not like you did with my golf swing. Well, that's just how it is, mate. Take your bandana off. Take my bandana off? What are you talking about? This is my self-care beauty routine. Where did you get that shit? This is as good as Robo gets these days, mate. Oh, yeah, I, I haven't seen you so dressed up. <laughs> That's what farm life does off grid. Who says recording during the backswing? That's what I want to know. Well, you got to tell your recording to people, mate. Break <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the concentration in four feet. Yeah, well, my timing's everything, though. Oh, that timing was perfect, yeah. <laughs> Father of the Robo. Haven't been brought up in suburban Sydney. What are you doing in Kyogle? Dad's got some questions he wants to ask, mate. You know? What got me here? I want to get the story out of you. So, uh, what? Yeah, mate, I love life. You know, Catholic, Sicilian, Australian here. Capish. Yeah. Steve Irwin, hero. I always have a passion for the environment and uh, with my culture, this is God's country. So what better place to help the people and grow my plants than this backyard? Yeah, well when you were little I spent my weekends fixing the breakages through the week, so you've got no formal training on your construction methods and the greenhouse and hothouse and your farm gate. Uh, where did you pick up your um, your tradie skills? Well, mate, there's nothing that sticky tape and a few screws or something can't fix, mate. So you put in a few screws, and before you know it, you know, erection. Some people would think a few screws came loose, mate. <laughs> yeah, with that wording, for sure. <laughs> also say. I couldn't have done this without you, you know, you featured on a, a few video clips there, the Three Stooges. <laughs> it's been two years to set up the nursery and let's just say the retirement fund, you know, something you can do until you can't move. Because that is, a, it's a succession plan for the community and whoever else comes into my life. And a grassroots operation to guide people on my way of, of gardening with plants and to help them find their own feet and self and learn how to do this and potentially have some sort of sanity allowance themselves because what's life if you can't make it a bit magical and create some magic yourself a bit of fun have a bit of fun mate playing golf yeah playing golf recording and sharing with you guys yeah, permaculture sort of helped inspire me to start from grassroots. So how did you get into permaculture? Oh, good question, mate. So you did uh, environmental science at UPS? Well, it was urban ecology, it was sustainable development. And how did you go to permaculture? A natural progression? Well, good old Chobo, the older brother, he said, have a look at this guy makes it look easy getting you know the community together and making some compost mate next minute <laughs> you know got to do it all yourself the things you have to do to keep yourself going to maintain seven and a half acres off grid the fun and games or the shits and giggles that you, you create you know becomes your all for me so it very quickly became, well, a funny farm. At the moment you've got your water back. Yeah, I ran out of water pretty much there, bought the first cartage in, and then so it goes. Comes to get it up the drive and it starts raining and it can't get it off. <laughs> <laughs> Turned around took it back. <laughs> yeah, it took it back. <laughs> well, my mate said, don't you know you've got to buy it? That's how it works. <laughs> well, your plants took a hell of a hiding, relocating from the central coast, but they're looking pretty good down there at the moment. So what sort of plant are you uh, carrying down there? 
Uh, mate, everything really, hey, there's medicinal comfrey, there's, you know, herbs, there's parsley, herb robert, artichokes even, rhubarb, asparagus, you know, there's ginkgos, there's fajoas, pineapple bobbers, there's water chestnuts, there's, yeah, you know, the other stuff. Ah, the uh, there's the spiral aloes. There, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, there's a few good ones there. Like bottle trees? Yeah, there's a few bottle trees down there. You've got a mountain a load of work. So, what's next on the agenda? Well, I have been called a mountain man. Well, more creating. I feel like creating is the only thing I can do to speak to me. And uh, I think we're know. planning on um, an iconic. Um, uh, message on approach. So well, I'd stay tuned for a, a, a later video. You know, the best is yet to come. Well, that's what they say, mate. But uh, if you don't want to wait, just go watch my hundred previous videos. Yeah, that's about right. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first two years of the build and the last six months of the creative induction into the farm and uh, the, the guidance of inspiration and what this and you know all you really need is yourself because at the end of the day you've got your own back and if you can focus on yourself first and make this number one then everything else falls into place that's what I've found Rob, I just want to say a few things. Trim the beard, cut the hair, and don't scold yourself with any more bolts. Well, mate, brand is everything, yes. Yeah. And to get this mountain done of work in the time by, you know, hand sewers. I know, haircuts and shaving takes time. Well, that can wait, mate. It's not really urgent. <laughs> But uh, yeah, self-love, uh, whatever you choose, love what you do, mate, and love who you are. And don't take branding so seriously. Family matters. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was just a little bit of fun and games to appreciate the times that we've had. And uh, thanks for all your support. And, well, leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> See what I can create for the next YouTube. Future YouTube. And tomorrow's maybe YouTube. Water first, as they say. But, you know, if you go by syllables, I don't know where I was going with that. No, I don't. Know. Nothing new about you not knowing. Where you're going. <laughs> well, mate, if I say too much, I look too loopy. Please. <laughs> but I just say you are what you eat these days, and I eat a lot of bananas and nuts. Yeah, well, organic is the way to go. So and uh, you know, I'm veggie, so I'm also off my chop. We don't. Uh, <laughs> we don't want Bill Gates eight peel on our produce, so. Don't do that, mate. What's that? He still got us to here, or helped get us to here, but yeah. Raw is where it's at for me. Appeal, maybe that's a space thing. But yeah, I'm of this earth. Yeah, well, two feet on the ground. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, ciao. You can't expect to record gold twice, mate. So, deja vu. we're just doing a little rewind. So where did you learn to build all your, your construction stuff here? Well, after I migrated from the sticky tape, <coughs> the sticky tape, mate, it does come in handy. Oh, mate, instead of these little phone things that people have these days, Back in the day, Pop used to give me an owl and a hammer and a bit of wood. I just used to hit them together. So uh, that's all it is, mate. Two bits of wood together. Maybe these days it's a drill and a bugle. And a bit of plastic. Next minute, nursery.
Well, next year, no three. Next two years, no three. Yeah. Well, he gave me a hammer and bit of wood, told me to do the same, but I, I can't do the stuff you do. Well, mate, you know, yeah, I suppose it is a bit of farm fit. I realised I wanted to set up a, a permaculture nursery and realised, you know, to buy plants, it costs money. So I started squirrelling away my pennies, mate, you know. Stopped drinking the alcohol for a couple years. Stopped my dating habits. Stopped the coffee and put that all into plants. And guess what guys? They grow on ya! <laughs> and then you can sell them for more. But if you run out of water and there's bushfires around ya, boy it's a challenge to keep this steady. But what do you say? Money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Grows on plants. <laughs> <laughs> and you can take that to the, well, your own reserve bank. Botanic gardens, mate, because what you grow by your own hand, you form this relationship with the plant and it becomes uniquely yours. Because no one else can maintain that like you. And that's the beauty of gardening. Somebody once said... What did they once say? You know, you want to learn life, jump off the deep end and swim like buggery to stay afloat. Yeah, well, you did put me through swimming lessons when I was younger. True. Maybe that was why, mate. Yeah, well. Mate, it is tough trying to set up a farm pay the bills solo it is and the maintenance on it 24 7 it, yeah as they say mate you know i'm sick of building someone else's dream working nine to five monday to friday so i started my bus own business mate building my own dream next minute 24 7. yeah seven no days rest. a week anyway it's not dull and boring How's your foot? <laughs> Pound of flesh, mate. Mm. Pound of flesh. That's about it. Okay. Yeah. End of feature film. <laughs>